Hey. Mrs. Stein, I'm sorry to bother you here, but is Professor Stein here right now? Well, after a year apart, I'm not letting him out of my sight. The Star Labs did quite a few tests on Martin, didn't they? And they said he was fine. Yeah. Why? Is something wrong? He just seems a little different, is all. Different how? He's been asking for pizza. Martin despises pizza. Is that the delivery man? Oh, Mr. Allen. <laughs> I suppose it's too much to hope you moonlight as a pizza boy. I am famished. Okay. Oh, bravo! Please, come in. Mr. Allen. Uh, oh. Mm. Uh, what can I do for you? Uh, I, I needed to talk to you about a paper that you wrote 25 years ago for the Oxford University Press. Uh, I've written many papers for that publication. Could you be more specific about the subject matter? Time travel. These are just a few of the random thoughts I've had on the subject. A few? <laughs> See, I believe that space-time is a free-flowing highway that intersects the physical world. We live in, in the moments between the on and off ramps. Theoretically, to, to travel through time, one merely needs to find a way onto the highway. Okay, so, so you're saying that this is actually possible to, to travel into the future? Undoubtedly. What about the past? Yes. My own personal choice would be the Chicago World's Fair, 1893. I, I think Nikola Tesla and I would have some wonderful arguments. What about you? Would you be interested in taking a trip into history? I think that I already have. Professor, um, 15 years ago, my mom was murdered. And we recently discovered some evidence that I was there that night, and not just as a kid, but as an adult. That must be a, a side effect of, of your incredible speed. In some future date, you actually move so fast that the resulting kinetic energy buildup smashes a hole in the space-time continuum. <sighs> You seem disappointed by the prospect. I mean, if I do somehow make it back there to that night, then it means that I didn't save her. My destiny is to fail. 